Team Iceland, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeannie and this is the best place to be if you're planning a trip to Iceland. Today I'm excited to talk to you about the topic of gas stations in Iceland. Who knew we'd be talking about gas stations for a whole video. But it's honestly a question that I get asked a lot, so I really wanted to talk about it, but not only just like gas stations, but five things you didn't know about the gas stations in Iceland. Now this video is really for anyone, but especially for those of you that are doing a self-drive trip because you're gonna be frequenting the gas stations a lot, right? If you're driving a car around the island, then it's going to be that you need to stop often for fuel. But obviously we use gas stations for other things like toilets and food and all of the things. So today we're gonna dive deep into this topic and talk about all of the good stuff. But before we do, it's time for a little Instagram love. This week's comment comes from Ellen and she writes, Hey Jeannie, we wanna thank you for the wonderful honeymoon we've had to Iceland. Your map made everything so easy for us. Thank you for all of your recommendations. We couldn't have done it without you. Keep up the good work. Thanks so much to Ellen for your message on Instagram. And if you would like to be featured in a future video, then all you have to do is send me a message on Instagram. I love connecting with you guys in my DMs and hearing what you have to say. So now let's get into the five things that you didn't know about gas stations in Iceland. Let's get into it. So the first thing to know is that inside of a gas station is not always just a gas station. Some of the stations in Iceland have things inside like basically a full grocery store. Some have a cafe, restaurant. I've even seen card games, souvenirs, automotive equipment, all kinds of stuff. And this is especially common for those stations that are out in the middle of nowhere. So you'll come across like, for example, a small village where it's all in one place. So they don't have like a separate automotive store and a separate grocery store and blah, blah, blah. It's all in one. So you have the gas and the groceries and everything else just in one fell swoop, easy. This comes in handy because a lot of times people are looking for a grocery store and they're thinking there's not even a grocery store in this village, but make sure to always check at the gas stations as well because a lot of times they have at least the basics covered, if not tons more. Number two, and the complete opposite of that situation, which is some pumps have no station. Like it's a gas station without the station. This is also a common thing. So if you see fuel, a fuel station marked on my ring road map, and you're thinking that you're gonna come up to this big station filled with <laughs> all of the stuff we just mentioned, it's not always the case. Sometimes there's literally one gas pump, one gas pump sitting there and nothing else. There's no inside station, there's no toilet, there's no place to pay, <laughs> which is why, by the way, I always say that you should have a card with a pin number so that you can use those pumps too. Because when there's a pump with no inside, you can't go in and sign for the amount. You have to have a pin number, I digress. So just be prepared for the fact that not all gas stations are created equal in Iceland. Number three, these fuel stations can be few and far between. I'm thinking in comparison to driving in the US when you're on a highway and every other exit has a gas station or several. This is not the case here. Not the case at all. A lot of times you can go for a while without coming up to a fuel station, especially in the more remote parts of the country like the West Fjords, the East Fjords, some parts of the North. Sometimes you can be driving for a while and if you're not careful, you're running dangerously low on fuel. Don't make the mistake of just risking it and getting too low because that's not good for your vehicle and it's not very fun to feel like you're about to be stranded without fuel. If you're sticking to the major tourist routes like Reykjavik, Golden Circle, South Coast, and Snifelsness, then you'll be just fine, no worries. But I always say, don't risk it, never go below half a tank when you're driving around Iceland. All right, before we get to the last two points, I was wondering if you could let me know what are the major concerns that you have about the gas stations in Iceland? Let me know in the comments and I'll make sure that I answer them in a future video if we don't cover them here. All right, so number four is that most gas stations will have 
hot dogs. I feel like this is a funny thing to be mentioning, but it's really worth noting for a couple of reasons. Number one, hot dogs are like the food of Iceland. Like when in doubt, an Icelandic hot dog is a really good meal to try. Number two, hot dogs are extremely cheap. So if you're trying to travel on a budget, this could be a good way to get your meal in for the day for like $3. You can't lose. I particularly love the Icelandic hot dogs. There's just something about them that's delicious. And I highly suggest that you try them, unless you're a vegan, then don't try them. Pro tip along with this one is that a lot of gas stations will also have soft serve ice cream. Oh, my heart. It's very rare that when I'm road tripping in Iceland, I don't stop for a gas station ice cream. Call me crazy, but I love them. They're so delicious. Uh, the gas station soft serve ice cream is not what you're thinking. It's not like anything that you've ever had. It's way more delicious. And again, it's very cheap. So I highly suggest that you try it. And if you like chocolate, then get it dipped in chocolate because it's delicious. And the last thing that you might not know about the gas stations in Iceland is actually a really, really important part. So listen up. Never choose the fill up option on the screen. So when you come up to the pump, you're gonna have the option to choose different levels of payment. A thousand kroner, 5,000 kroner, all the way up to fill my tank. Now you might be thinking, what, what are you talking about, Jeannie? Why wouldn't I just let it go until my tank fills up? But if you choose this option, what it does is it fills your tank up, but it actually places a very large hold on the card that you used. I'm talking like two, 250 US dollars. Don't ask me why. I have no idea why this happens, but this is something that they do when you choose the fill up option. So the way to avoid this is never choose that option. What I usually do is I usually charge between five or 10,000 at the gas pump. Whatever amount you use, you use. And whatever you don't use, you're not charged for. So play it safe. It's a weird thing, but it's a real thing. So there you go. All right guys, so the five tips in this video is just the start of what I talk about for gas stations inside of my Ring Road ebook. In there, I also talk about how exactly to use the gas pumps, prices of fuel, different things inside the gas stations, and more. So I highly suggest grabbing a copy of the book. It includes my beautiful ring road map and it's everything that you need to travel around Iceland. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below so you can grab a copy. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today in this video. I hope you learned something and if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos and I'll see you next week. Happy planning friends.